This podcast is about uh, animal cloning, which is also known as adult cell cloning or somatic cell nuclear transfer. And I'm going to illustrate how they actually did it uh, by giving Dolly the sheep as an example. And uh, here we have a sheep on the right hand side, which we want to clone. To clone this animal, we need to extract um, a body cell from a part of the sheep and they used another cell. So out pops uh, a diploid body cell, has a full complement of DNA inside here. So we can write that. Diploid. And they needed to remove this DNA by micro pipette. So you literally suck out the nucleus and put it here. We also need to collect a gamete from a female sheep. So this will be an egg cell. However, the nuclei here contains half the genetic material to make a complete organism. So this is known as haploid. Haploid. And it's no good to make a complete organism. So this has to be removed, which is known as enucleated. And you can see here that the egg is deposited in the bin. We don't need it at all. What will result is that we will end up with an empty egg, which we can put this diploid nuclei into. So we can draw it like so. And essentially what we have here is uh, an egg cell with a full complement of DNA from the animal that we want to clone on the right hand side. The cell needs to be carefully cultured, so with the appropriate nutrients, temperature, etc. Cells need to grow, but to actually get this to divide by mitosis, you need to kickstart it by giving it uh, an, a little electric shock. And this will enable this cell to divide by mitosis into a ball of cells, which I'm sure you're aware of is called an embryo. So we have our embryo that is divided by mitosis. And what you need to do now is put this embryo back into the uterus of a sheep so it is viable and it will develop into uh, a new sheep that is a clone of where the DNA actually came from. And in exams, you need to, they can give you many examples, but you need to follow the route of where the DNA actually came from to enable you to answer questions successfully to say which animal was cloned. You can now see a picture on the left, which is actually a sheep's uterus. Clearly, this is done through an operation uh, and not removed when this is done. The embryo is usually put through uh, the vagina and into the uterus by aspiration. It's quite interesting to see the anatomy of this structure. Following gestation, we end up with a clone of uh, the original animal. And here we have Dolly. Here you can see an additional diagram which illustrates the whole sequence of events and I'll just talk you through it very quickly. But uh, you have a donor sheep up the top hand uh, left corner here where uh, a diploid cell from the other was taken and an egg cell was taken from another female sheep where the nucleus was uh, removed. In this diagram it says that the two cells are fused within the electric shock. Sometimes this is offered in uh, many GCSE textbooks, but a lot of the time it says that the nucleus was removed here and actually put into the egg, the, and the electric shock causes the cell to divide by mitosis. The early embryo here is then placed into a surrogate sheep, into the uterus, and this is uh, another marking point in exams. It's not the vagina, it's the uterus, and then the embryo develops into, say, Dolly the sheep here, which is a clone of where the DNA came from. Top. It's finally worth pointing out some of the advantages and disadvantages to this technique. The first advantage that springs to mind is that you can produce large numbers of genetically engineered animals that can produce proteins 
or say perhaps medicines in their milk. And these could be used to treat humans with various diseases. We also could uh, reverse extinction, which might be a good idea for some organisms. And equally, we could clone pets. Or is that really a good idea? Hmm. Disadvantages may include uh, this leading to the cloning of humans. So you have the ethic arguments coming through there. It will also result in the reduction of genetic biodiversity. And this may lead to reduced survival possibilities if uh, the environment changes, say such as a disease um, infected the animal and it would affect all your animals if they were all genetically the same. So there we have it, how to clone animals.